Continuing, it was a busy midterm election across the country yesterday, and Alaska was no different as the U.S. Senate race between incumbent Mark Begich and challenger Dan Sullivan headlined the state's general election. Jamie Schwartzwald has more. Sullivan holds about an 8,000 vote lead over Bangage with all precincts reporting. There are still uncounted absentee, early votes, and question ballots to be tabulated, which will not be done by the Division of Elections until next week. The Bangage campaign is not conceding, putting out a statement today that read, quote, every Alaskan deserves to have their vote counted. Alaska's gubernatorial race is much closer, and the independent unity ticket of Bill Walker and Byron Malott holds about a 3,000 vote lead on the Republican ticket of incumbent Sean Parnell and Anchorage Mayor Dan Sullivan. In state legislative races, Democrats gained a seat for the interior delegation. Democrat Adam Wohl, who joined the race after the primary, earned 52% of the vote to defeat incumbent Pete Higgins. Democrat Scott Kawasaki defeated challenger Greg Bringhurst to retain his District 1 seat, while party mate David Guttenberg defeated challenger Joe Blanchard in House District 4. Republican Tammy Wilson collected nearly 80% of the vote over Sharon Hunter to win District 3, while Steve Thompson garnered 68% of the vote to fend off a challenge from Larry Murakami in House District 2. Republicans took both interior Senate seats as Pete Kelly gained 61% of the vote over challenger Tamara Rosales for seat A and Click Bishop retained seat C by garnering 65% of the vote over Dorothy Shockley. Two ballot measures were all three that were on Tuesday's ballot passed, including ballot measure two, which legalized the recreational use of marijuana. This is fantastic. The Alaskan people have decided that prohibitions failed and uh, not just here, but across the country. Oregon and DC have decided to go the same way that we have. Um, it's fantastic that we're the first red state to do this. And uh, I, I, mean, I couldn't be happier, really. I mean, everyone has worked so hard on this. And I, I think the Alaskan people are a pretty smart bunch. And uh, they, they realize that uh, reefer madness just isn't true.